The program's called Y Achievers, and it's a cohort model, right? You've got adult achievers and you have young achievers. But what I want folks to consider is not that this is uh, just achievement oriented, but it's also about the process of achieving. This program means a ton to me. I got involved with this program 25 years ago in Lynchburg, Virginia, my hometown. And I started volunteering with the program at that time. This city isn't gonna be successful unless we figure out a way to change the way we're presenting opportunities to people that might not even know that they have a potential career path. And so I, I enjoyed having lots of conversations with the participants in the program about some of those different opportunities. Pittsburgh is growing again, and one of the biggest needs uh, we have is employees. So our employers are always looking for young people to come and begin working with their companies. This is the way, it's the entrance way into the pipeline. Young people can see what opportunities might be there in the diverse fields that we have here in Pittsburgh right now. Seeing success is after you do the first year of the program and you see that not only have the scholars like over the summer grown physically, but they're thinking differently. They want to pivot about what their, their hopes and dreams, their goals and aspirations are. It's just excellent that these kids are seeing people in roles that they probably have never seen. And I'm really happy to be a part of that. We have really good kids. Like we have really good kids in these communities. And we need to do the most that we can to make sure that they're successful. Studies have shown that when young people have good mentors to help work with them, it gives them an example and a pathway and, and a vision of what they can see what the future might be. Getting to know the kids, it was immediately apparent that we were dealing with something very special. Uh, the level of engagement, the level of intelligence, the kind of questions we were getting, the kind of curiosity that was demonstrated, the willingness to participate and all of that. And I've gotten as much out of it myself as, uh, as I think that I've been able uh, and been grateful enough to, to pour into it. This city isn't going to be successful unless we figure out a way to change the way we're presenting opportunities to people that might not even know that they have a potential career path. And so I, I enjoyed having lots of conversations with the participants in the program about some of those different opportunities. It changes you that it's not just volunteering. You're pouring into these kids. It's about being there. to come here because I'm like, it's my Saturday. But then as I got warmed up to the program, I'm like, this is something new. This is something that I could learn from. And it's fun. And imagine if I didn't try it, I would just been at home missing out on this. The one great thing we have here in this region are a lot of leaders that are committed to helping this region succeed and committed to helping all people elevate. We want to have companies that look like the community. So I'm really asking our company leaders at, at different organizations to work together to participate in the program. It benefits them, it benefits the community, it benefits the region. It's something very positive. If you're interested in the future, and if you're interested in the improvement of the lived experience of folks that have been traditionally marginalized or underserved, or if you would just like to see society improve over time, there could be perhaps no better way than to spend quality, meaningful time with young people.